You know, I went. I when went did to, you? Uh, when did you go in? <clears throat> uh, September 2007. So I graduated. Uh, I think we graduated like June first, right. like first week of June, something like that. And uh, September, I was on the next thing smoking. Like, but I made that decision like when I was in 11th grade. You know, anybody can tell you uh, that knows me. My recruiters that was at the school every day making sure I was gonna make it. You know, I signed up. In the you, were, you were still in high school. Yeah, you? I signed up in 11th grade. Like, what was the reasoning behind that? Was it your parents pushing you? No, your grandparents yourself? no, man. I was just hanging out, you know, in the streets a lot, and you know, I had family members who had been in some trouble. Right. And like, I just like a voice was in my head. Like, my dad was just always like, "Don't be like this person," you know, "Don't be like that person." Right. Right. And I didn't see another way to dodge jail. You know, I didn't see another way to dodge not getting in trouble. Right. So I worked, you know, most of my life. You know, my dad worked my, either with my dad or my dad would hook me up with little side gigs. Or I have older friends of, of my cousins who had little businesses and I would help them. So, like, I always had the entrepreneur mindset but like the streets were just talking so loud you know like i had all of these great examples but the streets just wouldn't be quiet so man one day i was walking through the mall in 11th grade it was kind of like having a midlife crisis <laughs> like how i'm gonna get out of here i'm gonna get out of here and like i walked in the recruiter's office in tears and i was just like y'all gotta save me like I was really like, you gotta save me. Uh, which was, and I get emotional just thinking about like how much pressure that is on you at 11th grade. Like I just how you gotta get out of here. Y'all yeah, like 16, okay. 16, cause like I got a late birthday. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my birthday is in May. Middle, so I was yeah, young. mine's in May. So all my classmates are just about older than me by the time you. So right. yeah, I was like 16 and I walked in the recruiter's office at 16 years old. Like I just want to be saved. You know what I'm saying? Like at the time I was washing cars uh at a at a dealership and I was just like, I don't wanna like be here. Yeah, I don't wanna do this for the rest of my life. Like I was washing cars with a guy, he was in his fifties. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, do I wanna be fifty something years old washing cars? But I don't see nothing else. Like I I wasn't like a, a bookworm, so College wasn't even in my cars at the time. I didn't even think college had my name on it. Right, right. Um, I just couldn't see no other way. So a lot of people, you know, me being a veteran, veteran now, now, you know, owning a veteran owned and operated com company, uh, a lot of people are just like, you know, they're always thanking us for our service. And man, we gravely appreciate it. But man, if you heard the backstory from a lot of us, like, you know, what we were trying to get away from, or what we were trying to to maneuver right. through. Because um, not only yeah. you had, you had this monkey on your back that was a lot of different monkeys. Yeah, man. You, yeah. Had, you had things with your parents. Dude, like my parents, you know, my, my father, I've been in church like my whole life. Right. And my mom, hard worker, worked two jobs. You know what I'm saying? My dad, you know, uh, a lot of he was a, he was a preacher uh, at the time. By the time I got to high school, he just you know started his founded his own his, his own church. So like everybody know me like as the preacher's kid. You so, had a unique position in a sense. Dude, it was a hard position. Well, I, I, I mean yeah. not unique in a in a in a good way. Yeah, unique in a way that a lot of people you're trying to find your way in the world. Yeah, yeah. But you're like, you just want to be accepted. You want yeah, to be loved. Yeah. You want and to be loved. And you know, the biggest thing was I didn't want to be the preacher's kid. Right. Like, I didn't want that shadow. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't want to live in that shadow. Like, I wanted to maneuver through life on my own merit. So I was trying to define myself. So it's hard at 16. It's hard. Right. It's hard because trying to find your place in the world. Yeah, and, and with the with the father like who's like I tell people like sometimes having a father, a great one, is just as hard 
is not having one because like when you walk in the house and it's like a wall of accolades and it's like, oh, you better get you some of them. I'm like, how? <laughs> like I hate right, school, right, right. you know, like I hate school. Like I'm, I'm done with school. Like I don't see college. There was a, there was a like a subconscious standard standard that yeah. like, some people really don't. Because understand. when you walk around town, you're not Marcus. You're Kathy Rhodes and Marvis Rhodes' son. Ain't your daddy a preacher? You know what I'm saying? And, like, and, and people have this like stigma, stigma, like that you gotta live up to. So it was like uh, growing up, like you can't be no failure, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. you can't fail. That's a pressure that you were not really. What? what, what? That's a unnecessary pressure, dude. A lot. Right. A lot. And, and it's bro, like it's crazy. Where Marshall is small, right? So everybody knows your dad's a preacher, right? And it's like, why are you over here slipping and trying to drink? Go on home, like your dad's a preacher. Hey guys, man, I, this wouldn't have been possible without my man Carlos. I, I want you to go to YouTube, like, share, subscribe to Auto Nation, man. Give him a call, message him. You know, get in, let your story be heard. You know, man, it was an awesome, awesome, awesome experience. Like I said, go to YouTube, like, share, and subscribe to Auto Nation. Thank you.